What's up, guys? It's King Daddy DMAC, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So, I've been over at the Enderman Farm, and I got up to level 50 a couple times. Got myself some nice new equipment. Got an efficiency for shovel. Got, finally, after like the fourth time of getting only on breaking threes, I finally got one that had efficiency uh, four on it as well for the shovel. Got a nice, let's see, that's the old one. Got a nice efficiency four unbreaking three pick. And I thought it was about time we got a new um, sword. So I'm going to try and get something nice for us here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get down to business. All right. Got a nice level 49. I'm getting lazy here. I'm still not sure what are the best levels to enchant for swords, pickaxes. People are telling me I can go lower, but when I'm looking at what things you can actually get, it seems like most of the stuff that I want, you still have the highest percentage at a uh, level 48, 49, and 50. So I don't know. They're going to change it so soon. I really don't even care anymore. But let's see what we get. Not bad. Not bad. I haven't really got too many sharpnesses. I've still never gotten a sharpness 5. But um, that's pretty pretty low percentage to get. Anyway, I'm happy. It would have been nice to get a fire aspect. But whatever. Alright, let's get to business. I'll meet you back. Holy freaking crap. I almost just died right there. I was being really ballsy with these uh, ender pearls. And people told me... That if you throw them off, and this is good to know, I probably should have known this, assuming that it's true. If you throw it off into the void, as long as it doesn't hit a solid object, you won't teleport. So that's actually very cool if it's true, and we're about to test it. But I guess I hit, like, the side of the platform, like, just on the very side or something like that. And then I fell off, and I was falling straight into the void... And I was almost dead. I was already taking damage and just in a desperate effort, chucked an ender pearl up. And I actually hit the side over here and it put me on top there. And oh my god, I almost lost all those good enchantments. Anyway, let's test this. I dumped out all of my equipment and let's chuck one into the void and see what happens. So, yeah doesn't look like you teleport there which is awesome because now let's see if we can do this no I'm a little off to the side awesome that's freaking awesome but yeah I, I must have just hit right there in the corner and almost died so I'm not going to be doing this if I have a ton of equipment. Oh, I'm stuck in a block. What the hell? All right. Anyway, let's. Uh, I'll meet you back and we will get going on our next project. All right. Back at the to do list. So let's see what stuff we have to do. Polish basement, zombie crusher, build house, iron golem farm. Need to still do the Iron Golem Farm. I want to do one over here, but we'll hold off on that for now. A potion Room. That's something good that we need to do soon. Spider Eye Farm. Find Stronghold. Find End Portal. Did almost everything on that list. Uh, built Sky Farm. Breeding Animals. I want to do that. A Just Slime Farm. Polish Mine. Uh, spawner Trap. Still need to do Silverfish Farm. Build a Museum. Pixel Art make a base square all right so let's put this back up here and what was it potion room and i also want to add on here npc markets which is something i really want to get going on um i think today we'll start up with some ideas for the npc market and let's take a little bit more of a look at breeding animals. And I think that should be good. That should be good. And we're kind of biting our time right now. 
for when uh, 1.3 comes out because that's when a lot of cool updates are going on. A lot of people have been asking why I haven't been exploring more and I want to so badly but I'm just playing it smart. I'm not going to go any further than I've already gone um, until the update comes out because I do, as you know, if you go to a new uh, chunks that you haven't been to uh, before the update, that's how they're permanently going to be. Not, I'm pretty sure they permanently stay that way. So any of the new dungeon, castle, stronghold thingies, and all that cool stuff that they add on, um, we won't have if we've already gone exploring to that area. So we're going to hold off on exploring until 1.3 comes out. But as soon as it comes out, we are going to go on the hunt for the mushroom biome. We are going to go look for a jungle, which we still have not gone to yet. And, uh, yeah, lots of other cool stuff. So many new, exciting things coming out with 1.3. Anyway, I am going to get us a whole bunch of wheat, and let's go take a look at uh, the animals for breeding. All right, over at our animal island. I spent a few minutes filling this all and make the island a little bit more presentable. Um, anyway, this is the breeding system that I had set up so far. It's very ghetto um, and not too functional. But basically, up until this point, what I've done is I just slowly, you know, walk around, feed them wheat. They breed more would get stuck in there and whenever I wanted loot from them I could just hack them with the sword and then go in the corners and pick up the loot um, although this works it's just I don't really have that much control over it I uh, don't really know the exact numbers that are in there I don't have anything set up for the pigs yet um, and I, I really like to get some type of really concrete system um, set up for this to have them all in pairs. Now, I sp I've been spending a while in creative mode trying to come up with stuff myself as well as checking out other uh, videos of what other people have done. And um, in the long run, pretty much everything that I've found and come up with is extremely labor intensive, resource intensive, and... Um, you know, it's really just a simple thing to try and get them in pairs, but it's pretty difficult to do. Um, I came across this one guy that made a pretty neat system. It's not perfect, it's not flawless, but it does the job well, and it really doesn't take up too many resources, and it looks pretty cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead with that, and um, we can try and make some modifications to it. But for now, I think I'm just going to build his base system. Now, I was going to do it over here, which is why I cleaned out the island, but I've decided I'd like to put her over here. Because I want to have it closer to our uh, hostile mob system so that I can AFK waiting for them to be able to breed again while uh, being able to collect mob loot as well. So, we don't really have any more need for all this wheat and pumpkins and melons, which I just stuck there as something to grow along with the tree farm. Just other stuff to do while I AFK here. But I think I'm gonna rip this all out and clean up this island a bit. Um, and then we'll probably blow a hole, probably something like 13 by 13, and then maybe about like eight to 10 deep. And uh, we'll place our, we're gonna do a cow farm uh, right there. I think that should be pretty cool. So I'm going to get to work and uh, I'll update you as I go through it. All right, looking good so far. Cleared that out, evened up this island just a tad. And yeah, dug out all the dirt and sands and my God, there is a ton. I was able to at least use most of the dirt to help fill in the island more. But we got a lot of nice, good other stuff, made up some glass, and I uh, grabbed some of the stuff and stone, smooth stone, and all that good stuff from the spider farm. 
So anyway, uh, for the rest of it, I think I'm going to try and blow it out with TNT. So let me get that all in place, and we'll be back for a nice big bada boom. All right, you ready, guys? You ready? You ready? I pack the crap out of uh, <laughs> this little area of TNT, so I hope I didn't do overkill. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh my god! Just in the nick of time. Let's see. Oh, holy shit! I think I blew out way more than I wanted to! Holy crap! It actually blew all the way to a, down to our hostile, hostile mob system, the ravine, right by it. Let's see. Hopefully I didn't actually penetrate... Or he said penetrate. Um, hopefully I didn't actually penetrate the hostile mob system. Make any holes in it. But, oh crap. I knew I overdid it. I knew I overdid it. Alright, well I'm going to clean this up. At least I didn't let any water in. That's the big thing. But, yeah. I'll fill this in and uh, we'll get going on the farm. All right, looking good, looking good. Got um, yeah, I cleared it all out. Gonna try and put grass in for the floor down there. Worry about that later. I'll probably have to get silk touch to bring it down. Got all nice smooth stone, and yeah, um, I think we can get this party started. So let me just grab all the correct blocks and items that I need and we will get a going all right let's get this a going now um I am going to link the video of the person who created this um and he shows in a tutorial in creative mode uh everything of how to build this he goes pretty quick though I and mean, being that I'm doing this in survival there's a couple of different ways to, you know, you might do things in a little bit different order just to make it uh, a bit easier and little tricks for building it. But anyway, going to start off with doing a 5x5 five five, uh, little platform just like this. And then right at the end, going to dig out two just like that there. Going to fill in the two sides just like that. So it makes kind of like a, a Y, I guess. And then we're going to throw three blocks just like that. And then we are going to fill in all the way around it. Oof, bit of lag there. All right, looking good. Then let's just throw up. That sounded funny. Throw up. Um, throw up these last guys just like this. Looking good. And then we're going to throw a sign right here. Now, if everything was done correctly, hopefully the water should fit perfectly around just like that. Awesome. Perfecto. So now that we've done that, we can just fill up over the top, like so. And again, this top thing will just be a 5x5. Five five. All right. Awesome. And right here, we don't actually even have to fill in on the sides over here like I did. So I'm going to knock them out. Just because I want to have as much level with the ground as possible. So 5x5, five five, that being the center, these two are dug out. And then you can either fill these in. You're going to knock them out later anywhere, any way. Then, let me hop down here and just grab that stuff. I'm going to line up right there. And 
you could do this first if you wanted to have it up in the air where I had whereas I have this submerged into the ground but um, I'm gonna do that just like here just like so awesome and then we are going to let's see I have my buttons ready I'm gonna throw a button right there and then we're gonna throw a button right there at your head level awesome all right, next I'm going to make a crap ton of trapdoors. So to do that, just go like so. That's probably way, way more than I need. Um, I'm just going to do 20. That's even more than I need for now. But it depends on how high you want to make this. So that's good. Then for the trapdoors, you're going to want to stick it like that, like that. So it's one down, one block down, just like that. So looking good so far. Um, then let me hop back down here again. All right. And let's see here. One too high. All right, good. And just like that, you're gonna wanna take a pressure plate and stick it right here. I do believe, good. All right, then you're gonna hop back down again, grab whatever your building block is, pop back up. block there. I have my pistons. Going to need one piston for this. With some of the modifications I'm going to do later, um, it's going to use more pistons. But it's just that one for now. Stick in the repeater there. And I actually found it having problems with sticking sometimes. It, when I put it to two, it didn't seem to have that problem anymore. So that's good. Alright, and we're going to want to hop back up there now, Let's see if I can manage this. I made a little thing for me to, oh crap, that's going to launch me way far out. Whoa. Alright, let's dump this stuff because it landed me right in all the mob loot. Okay, I can dump out now you, who else, you, and you, alright, so, the next little part that we are going to do, oh crap, that's annoying. Okay, works that time. Alright, so, when you hit the button, those little things should go up. That's cool. And what we're going to do now is set up some redstone little, um, what are they called? What are they called? Redstone torches. I'm just going to grab a different block so I can see what I'm doing and know what to cut out. Awesome. And then I found the easiest just to do this. Just throw right on there the a block on top of the torch like that and you're just going to rotate up. And for everyone in the front is how many trap doors there's going to be. So, so far we have one set. This will be two sets as of this block. And this will be th three sets. I always forget this one. Four sets, I believe. Five sets. Six. 
six sets, and uh, I'll go one more, just one more. All right, so we're good there. Then you want to hop back down. I believe we're done with the redstone torches. Let me sleep real quick. All right, so thus far, this is what it will look like. All the redstone torches that you have in, let me just double check this. Yep, in the front is going to determine the number of trapdoors and therefore pairs of animals that you have up there. When I hit this, it should go up. And it's got a little bit of a delay in between each one. So that's good. Our next set of trap doors we're going to stick. And for the first one, it was aimed towards this block over here. From now on, it's going to be aimed towards um, these blocks. So right above where the other trap door is, it's going to be stuck in. Just like so. Actually... Actually, um, no, we can have it there. Just like so. And I am going to... How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Yeah, I'll do it from right here. Stick in our next set. And just do that all the way up. So I'll do this. I'll do one side at a time. Because I can't really reach it. All right, so let's see how this looks when I press it. Awesome, exactly what we want. So, so far we have probably just about the hardest parts done. Um, at this point, I am going to get out my glass. Done with the trap doors. And we pretty much just wanna put in a barrier going all the way around. So this is just going to be the viewing area and so that the cows cannot fall out. And I believe the guy said this will work for cows and sheep but not pigs. That's kind of interesting. I guess uh, cows and sheep have either the same or similar enough dimensions. So, um, do I want to stick there? I'm just going to go like that. All right, let's pop back down. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing. All right, now we got to do it from the back end. So, you can use really any block. This is going to end up getting chopped out, most of it anyway. And so right there, I'm going to switch over to... Actually, I'll go one or more, and then I'll switch over to glass. All right, so we are looking good so far. Got all of our glass in there. So now they will be stuck in there when they go. And that's how, where they got the pairs. So we'll, we'll demonstrate how it actually looks afterwards. But all right, so the next part. Let's get some more glass. Because we're going to need a lot. All right, so now that that is all done, um, we are going to get the next part prepared, which is going to be when the final cows, they fall down, and then we're going to have to make water streams and have them going back up. So let's knock out these two spots right here and here. And let's just throw, let's see, what do I want there? All right, so that's where they're gonna fall down. Put just glass like that and that.
and I'm just going to use again the stone brick to designate to designate the path of where they're going to go. It's going to do that in both sides and that is you need two first for the first water source, one, two, three pressure plates and then the ascent upwards. So let's put that in on this side as well. Right now you are going to want to get out your pressure plates and two blocks and then one, two, three. Two blocks and then one, two, three, just like so. Next we're going to get out our signs and on the second block you're going to throw up a sign. Do the same on the other side just like that. Perfect. And then let's get the rest of this area all brought in. So it's got to be too high and then you're going to want to cover it up like that and leave the last two spots open. So Just like that and let's cover this one up as well and leave the last two spots open good so now that we have that all set we are going to take the glass and go all the way up just as high as all the cows All right, so the glass panes, you have again this two wide area here. Gonna throw one glass pane right like that. And the other glass pane is gonna go like that. Now, this is the reason why you don't put wanna put the glass in on the sides yet because you are gonna have to break them. Now, the reason for that is this glass pane, which I cannot get out of here right now, is actually uh, wider when there's blocks on the side and it changes and meets them but when it's just this little stub it's shorter and this is between the two of them we're able to make a water elevator that's exactly the um, the width of a cow or the length of a cow so that it can go up there really fast no problem and uh, not have any issues with the water elevator so um do I have a bucket on me? No. Except I don't need a bucket yet. Now, for this little part, I found that it was easiest if you are careful. You can stand right on the sides there and just jump from pane to pane. And you're just doing it rotating each time. Not again! Oh my god, I'm bad at this. I did it fine before. I suck at life. Oh, god. Alright, got one side done. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. One there, and one there. I should have done... This one first. Ugh. Oh, dumb glass. All right, now that we have both sides done, let's put in the side parts. 
Now I actually found this to be easier if you build up all the way in the sides and I'll show you why. Alright, so I put the bricks up all the way around and so let's head back down. Ooh, I'm getting low on pearls. Been <laughs> using a lot of them. God, just makes building so much easier. Anywho, now, and this is again just so you don't waste glass while doing this. Um, you can just rotate like that and hop your way up. Uh, and I forgot to mention, if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, uh, to hop your way up, you got to do it in the middle, put uh, the column all the way up to the top as well. All right, and our first water stream is going to go right like that. Our next water stream is going to go right there in the quarter. And then we're going to put one aiming at this block. It won't be able to fall back because of the sign. And this way, when the cows, if you're using it for cows, could be sheep, come in, it's going to push them this way over to here. And then we are going to have rotating water source blocks, just like that. And you can just float your way up and just do it back and forth. So I am going to ooh, get going on that. I will see you when it's done. All right, so I think we are about done with the water streams. Got our last one right here. Dump it on top and we'll push this over, push the cow over onto the trap door. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. And we are pretty much done. Just two, I believe two last little things that we gotta do. This has to be filled in, but we need to make our reloading area and the place where we load in all the cows. Let's just get our stone bricks ready. All right. Oh, annoying. All right, so right like that. And let's throw some glass here. Our reloading dock we will have right there. All right, so that's a reloading dock on one side. Let's do the same thing on the other. All right, and okay, we're gonna have to do that. I'll do that last, but we have to connect some redstone up. Now you can do this prior if you prefer, but if the piston is right here, that means the repeater is powering this block right here. So when they hit the pressure plate, it, the repeater will go to that block, power the piston, as well as this redstone right here. And we need to connect this redstone up to this block over here so that it also resets the trap door to go up and they fall down. So let's just go ahead and do that on both sides. It's gonna go to that block. All right, and that is all the redstone that the project calls for. So you can do that to manually do it or when you go here, as you heard, it did the trap doors and it pushed you over here, which brings us to the next thing. We have to make a little area for all the baby cows. All right. And for now, we will just do it like that, I guess. Why not? Why is not? All right, I'm going to put in stone brick instead. All right, good, good. 
So I am just going to finish up these reloading docks. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit customizable based on what your, where you're placing your own particular farm. All right, so got it pretty polished up for the most part. I've got my reloading centers in right here. Just about to stick in the water streams for them. So let's see. Stick the sign right there. And then we can have the water go just like that. Perfect. Let's see if I can get the heck out of here. Alright, so we still got to figure a way in and out of this place that will be good. I'm probably going to make a another water um, elevator and then have all the baby cows come up right next to the sizzler. But let's just get that last trap door in so that we can be freaking finished. Awesome. Alright, you ready? They're all going to bust out. Ready? One, two, three. Nine cows. You ready? Want some wheat? You hungry? Damn, there's a lot in there. They're still coming out. Oh my god! Alright, we got pretty much all of them out. Just grab all that stuff and let's start luring them over here. Come on, it's a cow train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo choo. Alright, that was strange. I know. I admit. Got a little Charlie the Unicorn moment. It's the choo choo. Or the, what is it? The choo choo. Choo choo. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Forget I'm talking. I got your wheat. You got my money? I got your wheat. I got what you want. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Go in. Go. Go so I can show these people on YouTube how you work. All right. So we got one. Let's watch this load up. There you go. See? Ready? Do, 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 do. Still looking at me. He's like, no, I want the wheat. What did you do to me? All right. Now on this side, got to take out those trap doors again. I'll figure out something here so that we don't fall down. Come on. Get your wheat. Get your wheat. Go. Come on. Look at you all smart and stuff. Alright. Let's watch him go around. Come on. Here he goes. I got your wheat. See how that works out? And it puts them perfectly in place right there. Awesome. Alright. And then he goes over. Gets loaded up. Now we have two on the top. Press this button right here. Oh, did it already mess up? Oh, that is freaking annoying. I don't know how you did that. Alright, so we're going to have to reset them all the way. And this is the one thing about this, is that sometimes stuff like that happens. But we'll just reload them. Not a big deal. Come on. Come on. I know you want that wheat. I know you want that wheat. Get in there. Get in there! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! You doofus. Get in there. Ha! Gotcha, bitch! Go in the hole! Woo! How'd you get over there? What do you think you're doing? That's my house. That is my house. Over here is your house. Come on! Uh, 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 where are you going? I got the wheat! I got the wheat! Come on! Come on. 
Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Go in the hole. Yes. All right. Who's next? All right. It's the last one. Get in. Get in. Yes. All right. So that took a little while. Um, but it is completely filled. And yeah, let me show you how this thing works as soon as that cow loads in. Anyway, I guess... I think I have to knock this block out right there and right there. I think, but let's get this going. Are they all loaded up up there? I think so. Alright, and let's turn on particles. So, I be... Oh, I can't do it with that there. That guy, the wheat. That guy, the wheat. They're gonna breed. Little cow gets knocked down. Sometimes they get juggled there. Ooh, and I gotta get the reset damage for that one too. But now they walk around. I hit the reset. Goes all the way up. The top two are now clear. And the cow should go in place. Where is he? Oh, there he goes. He's reloading up on top. Boom. I gotta fix that. I'm gonna bring down the thing one layer. But then we are all good for the next breed. There. There. Little baby. Goes down. Resets. And then I hit this button. And they all go down. So let's check on the little baby cows, I guess. Ooh. Wrong block. Do I have dirt on me? I'll fix that later. Let's go right about here, I guess. Ooh, that was lucky. And we got our baby cows right there. So... All I gotta really do is set up, I'll put a sign with a water thing over it so they'll fall through nicely into there. And then I'll probably have this go out into another water elevator and bring them up like that. So guys, we have our cow farm finished. About freaking time, can eat that nice steak. And, uh, yeah, have the leather for the, uh, books once the new 1.3 comes out. As well as leather armor, but we're a little, a little beyond that point now. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Let's see if I can get out of here. Ugh. Alright, that's going to launch me somewhere really far. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. I am exhausted. But uh, I'll play around with this a bit more. Over the, um, over the next few days. And, ah! <laughs> and I guess we didn't have enough time to get to the uh, NPC marketplace but um, we will do that in the next video and should be out in a day or two so yeah comment like subscribe and peace out